SQL channel. Now we are going to discuss about Java file output stream. So what is a Java file output stream? And what are the advantages of Java file output stream? And how we can write a program using Java file output stream. So first, what is a Java file output stream? If suppose if you are writing a program, in that program, if you need to write some content to a file, then you need to use this class, file output stream. There are many other classes also, but this is one of those important class that by which we can write some content to a file using Java program, Java file output stream. So output stream used for writing data to a file. We will try to explain this Java file output stream using some program so here i have written two methods so private static void write character and then private static void write string these methods were called in the inside the main method so first i call the write character method and then i call the write string method in the first method we are trying to write some character to a file so here we need to put the try catch block the reason behind that is this file output stream class this file output stream will throw an exception at some cases for example if suppose if you're trying to write a file if you're trying to specify a path uh, if you're trying to specify an invalid path so if suppose there is no path like this then this would throw an exception this would throw an io exception input output exception that we need to capture otherwise it will return an error so that's the reason why we are putting the try catch block you can also throw this exception but here i am trying to catch the exception so here i have created the i have created the object for file output stream class so here for ut is the object inside it i have specify the file where i need to write the content so here there are two options if suppose if you are giving the boolean dot two means the file would be in the append mode so append mode in the sense if suppose if there are some contents in that file previously then the new content would be appended if suppose you are trying to put false here means then the file would be cleaned first and then the new contents would be added so I am here, here I have created the file in the append mode. So the con the previous contents would be present, the new contents would be append. And then using this FOUT object, I have trying to write some Unicode character, Unicode into the file. So FOUT dot write Unicode means Unicode character. The equivalent character for 70 is capital F that would be written in this file and then I am trying to close the file output stream the reason why we need to close this file output stream manually is yeah in this program it's not uh, necessary a mandatory thing to close the f file output stream if suppose if you are writing a complex program or a software then there, there you need to manually close otherwise the java jvm would throw an exception called too many output streams open so please try to close those output stream like that so to avoid that exception we need to close the file output stream manually using this method dot close so uh, because the, this output stream is a limited resource for a jvm if suppose if you have opened the output stream and if you are going to close it then other methods that are trying to open the file output stream would re result in the resource scarcity that would return an exception that's the reason why we need to close the file output stream or any of the output stream manually we can relate this using some real time example if suppose if you are conducting any party during that party you would uh, you would eat many things and you would throw the and uh, useless resources like paper cups on the floor after the party then you will try to clean that flow similarly you are trying to create some file output stream object and you are trying to use that op uh, object for uh, doing some purposes and then you need to close that file output stream we are trying to write some character the character is in the form of unit very similar to this method 
the only change here is here we are sending the string first we need to convert the string into bytes so how we can convert that string to bytes is using get bytes method so string dot get bytes will return the equal byte array for that string so if suppose we are sending rakesh means the equal byte array would be written here then using this write method we will write those things here for ut dot write b then it will write the equivalent bytes into the file so f o u dot close and then we are printing some message called task completed if suppose if we are running this program you would see the following output here task completed task completed and then i will try to open the file output sim file you would observe this following thing f first and then rakesh you would have noticed another uh, the other word you would have noticed the rakesh is prepended before f and this i have already executed this code before it says so that here uh, since the file is in open mode the previous code contents would be sustained and the new contents would be happened if suppose if you are trying to remove this method means if you are trying to remove this boolean value and then if you are trying to save this program and if the previous contents would be deleted before writing the new content so when i try to execute this client the previous content rakesh f rakesh would be deleted and the new content f would be returned to that file and then i am trying to call this method so the previous content would be f and the new content that needs to be written is rakesh so the previous content f would be deleted and the new content rakesh would be returned into this file that's why you are seeing rakesh only